Messages from current Melburnians to future ones are being placed in a time capsule to be opened in half a century. As Alan Rascal explains, what we've endured during the pandemic will be a key feature. Melbourne kids reaching out across time. They've been creating artwork and messages to go in a time capsule to be opened in 50 years, when they'll be in their 50s. When I was young, there was actually quite a bit of interesting stuff. What do you hope people think about your artwork in 50 years' time? It's good. It's good? Their material and that of others will be contained in the time capsule, which will sit in a sphere atop a statue inspired by Titan Atlas. A big part of its contents will share stories of how Melbourne has weathered two years of the coronavirus pandemic, which saw the city locked down six times, making it the world's most locked down city, complete with night curfews and being cut off from regional Victoria, other states and countries. Creating the sculpture itself was impacted by the various lingering restrictions. People see the, the, the endurance that see, we, we had to sort of go through during this pa pandemic. The statue and its contents stand at Essendon Fields, which is this year marking its centenary. As air travel has changed over the years, you would think maybe it might change another by 50 years' time, do you reckon? Absolutely, we might see air taxis hovering above this. Who knows, flying cars, back to the future. <laughs> And as a footnote, this story will be going into the time capsule. So from this 51-year-old Melburnian from 2021, a voice from the grave, hello to Melburnians of 2071. Alan Rascal, Nine News. <laughs> What's your message, Tony, for Melburnians then? <laughs> um, has St Kilda won another premiership yet? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Always the optimist. <laughs> Alicia's team. Anyway,